Guys, Taze, this is Redman, and today we have got this class 66 Royal Scotsman, numbered 66743. And we got this coach. This is the teak, um, teak composite coach. We also got another one here. So we got so today we're gonna do an unboxing on both. So we're gonna do probably the coach and we'll actually use this one as well for the review. So looking at the box, this is the railroad pack. So it's costing me let's see around sixty five dollars. So that's what it looks like. There you go. So this is actually really good on the Hornsby websites, like twenty something pounds. I don't know, but yeah. So I'm not. So just looking at this, you got some nice details, but we won't really know until I get it opened. If you can hear my PC running in the background, yep, that is my computer. Alrighty, so we've got it opened. Alright, so this is what it actually looks like. We've got the other coach there, we'll put that to the side. So obviously lifting this up. This is what the, also the coach looks like. But now, we have both coaches out. Because I bought both coaches at the same time, but obviously when I flip, when these had to come up, I had to check on this one's all right, because this one was somewhere else. But yeah, so, there's the two of them together. So, there you go. So just looking at everything, this is plastic wheels, it's got some plastic stuff, it's got some really nice glazing along, like the little wood streaks, that's the end of the coach, and actually pretty good buffer beams. Connecting this up, these two, you actually see they got a real... They got a nice little gap. Look good in it. But yeah, so we'll have we'll we'll put this along the track and give it a test. But so those are those two coaches. Now let's see the Royal Belt Month. So guys, don't forget to like the video. Let's just hope we can get. And so yeah, let's hope. So yeah, as you can see. This is the GBRF Belmont Royal Scotsman. This is the R, so this is code R3950. So yeah, this is DCC ready. So if you don't know what DCC ready means, it means it's ready, but you need to install a DCC decoder. So depending on different ones, they can vary six, eight, 21 pins. It's different pins, but I believe this was eight according to the website description. But I didn't get a DC. I didn't make it DCC at all. So it's still DC. All right. So looking at that, it looks really good. All right. Time to open this up. So this was on the shelf when I first saw this. It was actually pretty good. I'll get it opened, and I'll go from there. Alright, so now we've got it out of its sleeve. We've got some spare parts. So, if, oh, it's part drop. So, already had a look at the booklet. So, these are, we'll see them pockets there. So, you can basically move these shells and you can actually move the coupling for the additional parts. So, there's like little air hoses, the other coverings. And the chain sockets put on. 
Yeah, so there's the maintenance manual. So I'm just having a look at that. Alright, so obviously looking at this in person, it's actually looking pretty good. So you got like the general stickers like the company GBRL freight, the um the overhead wire warning, this logo, which I don't know where it came from. So put that in view. Yep, so I don't know where this logo's come from. I haven't actually had a look. But as you can see, there's more of the voltage. Paint de details are alright, but there's a few leaking out. Also, we do not have the working headlamps. Also, you're just looking up onto the top grill. As you can see, you can actually see the little horns. We'll see there's the other decals there. There's the code. See underneath, this is an all pickups. And we'll see on one side. We'll see, it's your motor. So this actually looks pretty good. This is um, bringing my class line two out. So, basically guys, bringing this class line too, so I had to run and grab it. This is obviously featured in a few videos. It's practically this, like, same, as you can see, same. But obviously the difference in between these two, this one's just diesel, and this one's a diesel electric unit. Well, these are both diesel electrics, but this one's mainly electric, as you can see by the pentagrams. So we'll actually go and run this down on the track with the two coaches to see how they run. Currently, I'll see my the layout is under is under work, so we'll only be using a little bit of it.